So you want to play Quick Bloom Al Haytham? Well, first you start with the boom. Al Haytham's here, and boy, he's annoying. Or hot. Or I don't know. Some already describe him as Dendro Child, Dendro Kitching, and even Side Grade Mahida. But honestly, he's a mix of all of them. Except for Dendro Kitching, though. Like, literally, the only thing similar between them is their animations. He's a Dendro Child in a sense that he has a lot of sources of Hydro, I mean, Dendro, and has a non damage over time burst. Now, what makes him a side grade Nahida is that he enables off field DPSs while on field and deals significant damage as well. That being said, this makes him a very strong enabler slash DPS to off field DPSs like Sing Cho, Yelan, Fischl, Lisa, Yai, and even Kuki, Dori, or Raiden. But he will need another Dendro like Nahida and Dendro Traveler to act as his battery and for the Dendro Resonance. For this guide, I'll cover his best team, the Quick Bloom team. To make artifact farming a little easier, rather than getting the best 4P set for Al Haytham and his teammates, except for sports, we'll focus on getting their desired stats instead. For Al Haytham, he can use any two piece of Deep Wood Memories, Wanderer's Troop, Gilded Dreams, and Emblem. For weapons, he can use Light of Foliar Incision and Primordial Jade Cutter for 5 star, and Toka Boshigure and Black Sword for 4 star. As for support, Nahida and Traveler will use the 4 piece Deep Wood Memories. While Kuki and Raiden will use a two-piece set of Gilded Dreams and Wanderer's True. If you choose to use Dori, she will hold the four-piece Deep Woods, while Nahida and Traveler will use any two-piece of Deep Wood Memories, Gilded Dreams, Wanderer's True, any of the two-piece attack sets, and Noblesse Oblige for Traveler. On the other hand, Sincho and Yelan can use any two piece of HOD, Emblem, Noblesse, any of the two piece attack sets for Sincho, and Tenacity of the Millileth for Yelan. The Rotation For this team, I'll be showing two rotations one with Traveler and one with Nahida. For Nahida, start with Nahida's skill and burst, then switch to Raiden and use her skill. Then switch to Sing Cho and use his skill and burst. Then use his skill again if you're using a sacrificial sword. Switch to Al Haytham and use his burst. Wait a few seconds until his burst animation is over. Then do three normal attacks and dash. Do three normal attacks again and use his skill. Then do three normal attacks and dash. Lastly, do two normal attacks and one charge attack. For Traveler, start with Yelan's skill and burst. Then switch to Traveler and use their skill and burst. Switch to Kuki and use her burst and skill. Then switch to Al Haytham and use his burst. And wait for his burst animation to finish. Then do 3 normal attacks and dash. Do 3 normal attacks again and use his skill. Then do 3 normal attacks and dash. Lastly, do 2 normal attacks and 1 charge attack. Out of my way! Dissipate! 
The pros and cons. Starting with the advantages, they're excellent in single target scenarios. Singcho and Yelan are excellent single target sub DPSs due to their burst dealing single target damage. On the other hand, Alhitham deals significant damage on both his skill and normal attacks that deal mostly single target damage, while Raiden, Kuki, and Dori deal high single target damage through their hyper blooms. They're also decent in AoE scenarios with heavy enemies. This is especially true if the heavy enemies are also easy to group. Alhitham has a decent AoE on his projectiles, while Nahida can deal damage to all enemies as long as they're marked. As for the disadvantages, they're weak in AoE scenarios with light enemies. Because they have zero crowd control abilities, this team will be weak against small mobs like Hilichurls and non-elemental Ermites. If you choose to use Sinchou as the Hydra Applicator, it is highly recommended to use Raiden instead of any other Electro. Likewise for Yalon, it's highly recommended to use lower Electro Applicators like Kuki or Dori. Raiden has a fast Electro Application that can keep up with Sinchou's Hydra Application, which increases the Quicken Aura's uptime. This is unfortunately not arguable since the reaction focus of the team will change from Quick Bloom to Hyper Bloom if the applications of Hydro and Electro can keep up with each other. More skill is required when using the Yelan team variation. Sling Cho's resistance to interruption from his sword shield is very important to Alhitham because he doesn't have an innate interruption resistance unlike some DPSs. And that's it for Quick Bloom Alhatham. I hope you liked this video. Leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll try to answer them as best as I could. Also subscribe if you want more team guides for the current banner characters. See you in the next video.